I have started. Thank you. Uh, loop elimination method, right. Okay, before that, what we have done, we have done state elimination. So we have, uh, we are learning finite automata to RE, right? We are learning finite automata to RE. Uh, so in that we have seen state elimination and loop elimination, right? So today we'll move on to the next uh, method that is Arden's theorem, okay? So for Arden's theorem, what you have to do is for every state, we have to write equations, okay? We have to write equations for every state, okay? We'll see with the example how to write it, okay? And the equation should be of the form R is equal to QP plus RP, okay? We'll see what is this R, what is this Q, and what is this P, okay, with the example, okay? The equation should be of the form R is equal to Q plus RP. If the equation is of the form R is equal to Q plus RP, then our RE will be R is equal to QP star. This will be our RE, okay? So this you have to remember, fine? We'll take one example and we'll solve. So if this is my finite automata, Okay, if this is my finite automata, okay, can anyone tell me using uh, uh, state elimination or loop elimination, it is very simple. Uh, what, what is RE for this? We'll see, can we get using Arden's theorem, can we get the same uh, RE? Okay, can anyone tell me what is the RE for this finite automata? What is RE for this finite automata? How come A, B, O, just you have zero and one? This is the usual mistake done by students that you people don't look into what is the input. Yahan pe zero one diya hota hai aur aapke dimag mein A, B chalta hai. Aur aap log A, B Case but input is fully different, so you will lose marks. You'll get zero marks even though your uh, full answer is right. Okay, you have to look into what is the input A or B. Sarita, again, from where did you get A and B? And the arrows are from A to B and B to A. If the arrow was from A to B and A to B then your answer would be right. It is zero or one. But here we have, for zero, we have A to B and one transition is from B to A, right? It cannot be zero or one. Yes, say, yes, say zero, one, zero, whole star. Abhishek says one, zero whole zero star one zero star abhishek how come you are adding uh, star to only zero you can add star to only zero only when you have a self loop okay so you cannot have that star to only zero uh saurav says zero one whole star zero abhishek okay you said Later on, zero, one, zero, whole star. Okay, zero, one, whole star. Okay, few of you are right. Few of you are right. Bridges says zero, one, whole star. Uh, Bridges and uh, some of you, Abhishek and all. See, if it is zero, one star, 
if it is zero one star, it is landing into state A, right? Zero one star, it is landing into A and A is not our final state. It has to reach back to B, right? So it cannot be just zero one whole star. Okay, Ruchita, Bridges, I hope you are getting me. Abhishek, coming to your answer, you say it is one zero whole star. One zero matlab start state say one hona chahiye na? Right? You cannot start from B. You have to start from A. Right? So it cannot be one. We cannot go this way because the arrow is, the transition is from B to A. On one, the transition is from B to A. It is not from A to B. So I can't start with one. It has to start with zero, right? So the answer is the others are right. It can be zero, one whole star, Z sorry, zero, one, zero whole star or zero, uh, zero, one whole star, zero. Both are right. That is zero, one whole star, zero is also right or it is zero, one, zero whole star. You can get any of this answer. Both are right. Okay, I hope you everyone understood how to find the RE. Yes, okay. So we'll move on to Arden's theorem. We'll see how to write equation for each state. Okay. We'll see how to write equation for each state. Start with the star state. One thing you have to remember is that for every state, we have to write the equation. For every state, we have to write the equation. Okay. So start from the start state. Start from the start state. Okay. So A equals. Find. Uh, this is the start state. Since this is the start state, start with epsilon. Okay, only start state. It may be final state, it may not be final state. The start state will have epsilon in its equation. You have to remember this. Okay, A equals epsilon plus check all the incoming arrows. Check all the incoming arrows on the state on the state okay which is our incoming arrow this b to a on one okay it is b to a on one this is how we will be writing okay is there any other uh, incoming arrows no if i had another incoming arrows i would be adding it with a plus Okay, all the incoming arrows will be added here. Okay, in this diagram, we have only one incoming arrow. So it is epsilon or B dot one. Any doubt in this equation, students? This is our equation number one. Is there any doubt in writing the equation, students? Is there any doubt? Okay, can you tell me B is equal to now? What will be B is equal to? Write um, equation for B now? Yes, Ojas, I said that since it is start state, we have to add epsilon to the start state. Okay, to indicate that this is our start state, we'll be adding epsilon. Okay, fine. Can anyone uh, give me the equation for B? It is very easy. Uh, easy. Just check, we have only one. Uh, yes, uh, again, I'm repeating, epsilon is only for start state. Epsilon is only for start state, not for any other states. Okay, so A1, A or A1, how come Shriya, A or A1, how is that, how is that? You have only one no, incoming arrow. You have only one incoming arrow. You have only one incoming arrow from A on zero. From A on zero. From A on zero. That's all. Yes. Bhushan, Saurabh, you people are right. 
right? It is just from A on zero, only one incoming arrow. If I had more incoming arrow, then I would add it here. But we don't have any doubt, students, any doubt in this? This is equation number two. Any doubt, students, any doubt? Is this clear? Is this two equations clear? How to write these equations from this given diagram? Okay. Now, what we have to do? We have to bring this equations in the form Q plus RP. Okay. So, whatever is with R will be P. Students, listen carefully. Whatever is with R whatever is with R is P. Okay, rest everything is Q. <clears throat> okay, whatever is with R is P and rest everything is Q. Okay, coming to this equation, A, A is our R, right? A is our R. So, do we have P here? Do we have P here? We don't have P because we don't have A here. Okay. Similarly, we'll see this. R is our B. Do we have B? No. We have only Q. We don't have B. Now, we don't have RP. Right? So, we have to substitute and bring this into simpler form so that we get it in this format. Okay. So, what we can do? We can substitute equation 2 in 1. Okay, why I am doing this? I hope this is clear why I am doing this. Yes, I'm, I told you, these are the states. These are the states. See, whatever you have, see this representation, whatever you have, whatever you write here, I have written A here, that will be my R. Okay? Whatever on the right hand side, whatever is with R, that will be P. It is just notation. There is no, <coughs> sorry, there is uh, as such, uh, there is no definition for uh, Q, R and P. Okay. It is just notations. Whatever you have written in the left hand side, that will be R. Okay. In the right hand side, whatever is with R is P and Remaining everything will go into Q. Okay. So, substitute equation 2 in 1. So, what I'll get A is equal to epsilon. Okay. B ke jaga pe I'll write A 0. And this 1 remains as it is. Any doubt till here students? Any doubt till here? I hope uh, it is uh, clearly visible, whatever I am writing. Okay, so A is equal to epsilon as it is, plus instead of B, we are substituting A0. So A0 and this one as it is. Okay, is this now in this form? Is this now this equation is in this form? See, I have A. Right? This is my R. R kaha hai? Yaha pe hai. R ke saath kya hai? 0, 1 hai. So, this becomes my P. Okay? Whatever remaining. So, remaining to yaha pe sif epsilon hai. That is Q. Is this clear? This is my R. R ke saath jo bhi hai wo P. Okay. Remaining is Q. Okay. Now what the equation Arden's theorem says, if you get the equation in this format, if you get the equation in this format, okay, you can write the equation in the form R is equal to Q P star. R is equal to Q P star. So if I take this, R is equal to Q P star. So what will be my R here? 
R is equal to Q is epsilon. Q is epsilon, right? P, P is 0, 1, 0, 1, right? P star. So it is 0, 1 whole star. Okay. So A is equal to, I'm sorry, A is equal to epsilon dot 0, 1 whole star, which is equal to 0, 1 whole star. Is there any doubt till here, students? Is there any doubt till here? We are forming R is equal to Q P star. R is equal to Q P star. Okay. So R is equal to Q P star. Whatever is with R is P. So P star will be 0, 1 whole star. Okay. So now, what is the next step? What is my A? Is A my final state? Is A my final state? No. What is my final state? B. B is my final state. Okay. So your final answer should be the solution for B, not for A. I hope you are getting me. The solution should be for B. Okay. So what we can do now? Whatever answer I got, what I got A is equal to 0, 1 star. I can name this as 3. And this 3, this equation 3, I can put in equation 2, A0, A0. So I'll get answer for B. Okay. So substituting. Equation 3 in 2. Substituting equation 3 in 2. What we get? We get B is equal to 0, 1 star 0. So this is our final state and this is our equation. So our RE will be 0, 1 star 0. I think you got the same answer. Students, any doubt in this? Any doubt in this? Okay, shall we do the other way? Shall we do the other way? Yaha pe hamne kya kiya hamne? Uh, substitute equation 2 in 1 kiya. Right? So we'll see uh, substituting equation 1 in 2. Let's check what answer we will get. Since it is very simple, we can substitute anything. Okay, two in one or one in two. In uh, next example, we'll see that uh, the complexity increases and we have to think and substitute while substituting. Okay. So we'll see now. We'll take the same example, same equation, same equation one and two. Okay, instead of substitute equation two in one, what we'll do? Substitute equation one in two. Okay. Substitute equation one in two. Okay, so kya aega? one in two. So B equals if you see here A, right? A zero. So instead of A, I am putting this value. Okay, so it is epsilon or B one. 0. Any doubt students till this? Kuch doubt hai? Okay, I have, we have already solved this. We are solving in other way. That's all. Okay, don't get confused. You can go for this or this, any. Okay? So, we'll see now. So, uh, this is my R. This is my R. But it is in bracket. So I have to remove the bracket. For that, what we'll do? Epsilon 0 plus B10. Students, while removing the brackets, you have to uh, be very careful. It cannot be 0 B1 or it cannot be B01. Okay. Since it is right hand side, you have to put it right hand side. And one more thing I forgot to tell you the equation should always be in this form only. Okay, state first and then the input. 
If you write the other way round, it will be wrong. Okay, you'll not get the answer. It should be, the equation should be in the same format. The state and then the input of the incoming arrow. Okay. <laughs> Coming back to this. So now, this is my R. This is my R. So this is my R. Okay, whatever is with R will be P. Rest is Q. Okay, so now we can put directly this into the form R is equal to Q P star. Okay, so what is Q? Epsilon into zero is zero, right? Zero. What is P? It is one zero. Students, any doubt for this? Any doubt, students? Is this clear? Very good. Okay, shall we move on to the next example then? Okay, we'll move on to the next example. Okay, so for this, you have to help me out with the equations. Okay, so this is our given finite automata. This is our given finite automata. Okay, now we'll write the equations. How many equations will have students? How many equations will have? You have to be quick, please. How many equations we have? We have three equations, right? Since we have three states, we should have three equations. Very good, very good. Shall we start with the first one that Q1 is equal to? Q1 is equal to. Chalo. Tell me. Q1 is equal to quickly. Very simple. Yes. Yes. Very good. Since there is no incoming arrows. Yes. It is start state. We have only epsilon. Very good. Very good. Everyone. Everyone is getting this. Very good. Q1 ho gaya apna. Abhi we'll move on to Q2. Q2 batao. Q2. Q2 is Q1A. Yes. Very good. Q2 is Q1A. Very good. So we have only one arrow. One, sorry. One incoming arrow. That is from Q1 on A. So it is q1 a very good yes so what about q3 what about q3 mm, so you just think over it again Ek, uh, diya hai shayad apne. there are three incoming arrows on q3 observe carefully right Yes, very good. Yes, Rishikesh. Q1B, Q2A, and Q3A. Yes, so it is three incoming arrows. One, two, and self loop be incoming. Hai na? So you have to consider this. Okay, so it is what it is Q1B, Q2A, and Q3A. So this is my two and this is my three. Okay. So final state is Q3. Whatever answer we uh, get, it should be in form of Q3. Okay. Uh, maybe for intermediate results, we may get uh, results on Q1 and Q2. But after substitution, we should have that. Uh, the answer should be in Q3. Okay. Can anyone suggest? Kya substitute kar sakte hai hum log? 
what can be substitute it may be wrong but i want that want the answer 1 and 2 in 3 1 and 2 in 3 okay 1 and 2 in 3 1 and 2 in 3 fine fine so before that shall i do a uh, substitution of 1 in 2 before substituting q2 in q3 we'll do 1 in 2 first i think that would be better right substitute 1 in 2 so what will get q2 is equal to q2 is equal to sorry um, epsilon a okay so that is a q2 is a i'll take this as 4 i'll this i'll take this as 4 okay so now whatever you said uh, you people i think you have taken the same thing but i have increased one step more okay so now what we'll do we'll substitute equation 1 and 4 in 3 okay so now what will be my q3 q3 will be q1 to epsilon ho gaya right epsilon b or mera q2 kya hai a so it is a a or q3 Ah uh, yes, Rishikesh, right? Yes, very good, very good. Abhi bata, what is my ah uh, p? What is my p in this? It is just a. Very good. It is a. है ना? Q क्या होगा? What is Q? Yes, very good. This complete will be my Q. जो भी बचा है ना इसके बाद इसके बाद जो भी बचा है एवरीथिंग गोज इन टू क्यू ओके आई होप यू पीपल गॉट इट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड वंडरफुल ओके सो व्हाट विल बी माय क्यू थ्री नाउ ओके व्हाट इज दैट कन्वर्टिंग इक्वेशन फाइव In the form you have to write all this just ten marks. इतने आप इतना करोगे तो आपको दस marks मिलेगा. So you have to write what you have substituted, what you are doing. Everything has to be written in detail. Okay, otherwise ये दो line का answer हो जाएगा. Okay, so you have to show everything in detail. Converting equation phi in the form r is equal to q p star. So q three is equal to what will be my q three now? Q is this B or A A, right? And P is A star. This will since Q three is my final state, I need not again substitute Q three in somewhere. Okay, for example, अगर मेरा कोई और final state होता, then we would substitute this Q three whatever answer we got into that. Okay, since in this example Q three is the final state. and we got answer for q3 so this will be my re so re is b or a a a whole star okay just check whether your re is right just check whether your re is right it is b a star or a a a star b a star or a a a star right we'll check b a star this is my one path what is my second path a a a star okay so it is right what yashashri says what if we have two final states yes i am coming to that if you have more than one final state you have to solve for both okay one re will be for first final state okay and re two will be for second final state for example if i have two final state if i have three final state you will have re3 
okay and my re will be finally re1 or re2 is this clear you have to solve for both the final states okay and final re will be uh, what is that uh, or of all the re's whatever you get any doubt students in this any doubt any doubt in adin's theorem students let me know maybe a simple doubt let me know please clear everyone everyone clear okay good then very good okay so very simple again i'll take another example q0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 we have already solved this in loop elimination Okay. Okay. Let's start. Fine. Q zero is equal to. What is Q zero is equal to? Hmm. Oh, just check again. How many incoming arrows you have? Yes. Right. You are right now. So you have two incoming arrows. Q one say one, and where is epsilon? Q one say one, and Q two say zero. Snehal, even you missed epsilon. Please don't miss epsilon. If you miss epsilon, your answer may go wrong. Yes, Utkarsh, right. Q one one, Q two zero. Students, if you have any doubt, stop me. We'll clear that first, and then we'll move on. Okay? This is our equation one. What is Q one? What is Q one? Q one is equal to Q zero zero. Yes, this is equation two. What is equation three? Q two is equal to Q two is equal to It is Q zero one, right? Okay. What is Q three? What is Q three? Q three is equal to Q one zero or Q two one. Okay. Yes, right. Okay. Ah, uh, students, I have a doubt here. Is the equation Q three required? The fourth equation required? No. Then why did you tell me the equation? इसकी जरूरत ही नहीं है ना राइट बिकॉज इट इज डेड स्टेट राइट इट इज नॉट इन बिटवीन यूर स्टार्ट एंड द फाइनल स्टेट इट इज नॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग इन एनी ऑफ द पाथ राइट इट इज नॉट रीचिंग द फाइनल स्टेट सो दिस क्यू थ्री इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड राइट इवन इफ यू राइट इट इज नॉट रॉन्ग बट इट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड ओके फाइन Fine with the uh, equation, right? Now tell me what I have to substitute. The next step, what I have to substitute? Two 
and three in one. Yes, very good. Yash, Ojas, Raj, very good. So it is two and three in one. Yes, Sejal, Shreha, yes, Ruchita, very good. So what we'll do, we'll substitute two and three in one. Okay, so substituting two and three in one, what we get Q0 is equal to epsilon or Q1 ke badle mein will have Q0, 0. And this one as it is, don't forget to add this. Usually students forget. Aap log yahan pe ye substitute kar lete ho, but you forget this. Okay, don't forget. This has to be written. Okay, or Q2 ke badle mein what we have? Q0, 1, Q0, 1 and this 0 as it is. Okay, so what is my P? What is my P? It is 0, 1 or 1, 0. Yes, very good. You have to take this common. It is 0, 1 or 1, 0. Okay, all R should be at one place. You cannot have more than one R. Ye R hai na hamara. We cannot have more than one R. All should be taken common and whatever you have within R, you take it together. Okay, so this will be my P. Q is epsilon, right? So putting this in the form R is equal to Q P star. What we have? We have Q zero is equal to zero one or one zero whole star. Okay, so this is my R. R is zero one or one zero whole star. Any doubt in this? Any doubt in this? Okay, so just check whether your RE is right. Go to your FA, go to your FA, see this 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, or 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, whole star. Right? So we got the same thing 0, 1, or 1, 0. Okay, repetitions of 0, 1 or repetitions of 1, 0. Okay, it can be even combination 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. It is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Right? So it is 0, 1 or 1, 0 whole star. Okay? I hope you got this. Okay, so we have done with FA2RE. We have done with FA2RE. So we have seen three different uh, methods, loop elimination, state elimination, and Arden's theorem. Okay, and uh, if they ask you, like if they are, uh, like uh, if they don't ask you any method, particular method, then you can go for any of the method. Okay, but students, it's, uh, very just two steps right loop maybe loop elimination or maybe your state elimination maybe your addis theorem okay and you you'll get 10 marks for that so see that you show every step in detail okay you don't uh, do it directly don't show directly Okay, you have to show if you are eliminating the state right there that you are eliminating uh, Q0 state, for example, then you are eliminating Q1. Okay, in state elimination, you are adding the start state, you are adding the final state. All the steps has to be clearly mentioned. Okay, so it is very simple. So don't lose marks just because you are writing uh, directly. Okay. So if they don't ask you any particular method, you can go for any. But if they mention, use state elimination, use Arden's, use loop elimination, then you have to go for the said method. I hope all the three methods are clear.